Okay, so unfortunately, I allowed it to actually go through the full first round of mixing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the machine and I'm going to start it again. And you can see it's starting to mix again. Now I have some warm water and a tablespoon and I'm going to add one tablespoon at a time until it starts getting that extra mixed together. Now the last time I did it, it needed three tablespoons and we are just gonna add one at a time, close it down, let it mix for just a little while. It is about one minute later and we can see that my bowl is still not close. Now at this point you might be tempted to add two tablespoons instead of adding just one, um, which would be a mistake because that water amount is pretty crucial to how it sits together. So we're just going to add one more tablespoon and close it up for another minute. All right, it's been one more minute. And we are definitely getting closer. You can see some of the dough is still on the side and still not totally forming a lump. So we will be adding one more tablespoon. And if there's any dough on the sides, you can gently push it down so that it gets mixed. And you can actually hear, I'm not sure if it will come through on the recording, but you can hear it just a little stickier and we're gonna let that go for one more minute and see where we are all right one more minute has gone you can see our dough ball is looking a lot better kind of just gently sticking to the sides but the paddle is still whipping it around however you can hear almost a little bit of grinding in the paddle which isn't a terrible thing but you can also see in our dough ball that some of the areas just still aren't getting blended and stuck together quite right. Now at this point, um, you know, I'd be tempted not to add more water. However, the last time I did it, uh, I got it a little stickier than this and it turned out, in my opinion, quite a bit better. So I am going to add one more tablespoon of water at this point. Don't worry that it doesn't seem to be getting mixed in at this point very well. As it lets it stop and rest, it'll fall down and come back up and get stirred in. All right, we are at 108 on the dough cycle. It has gone through its first rest period and is started again for the kneading. You can see it's still a little bit chunky. However, you can see it's also forming this, starting to form this nice surface. Now when I touch it, honestly, it seems a little dry. It's not even like clinging to my finger. And oh, that clung to my finger just a tiny bit. So I think we really should add another half tablespoon to tablespoon of water. Okay, adding about two thirds of a tablespoon. And of course you can hear it getting sticky down there again. And you really don't want your dough to be too dry in this uh, initial couple of um, kneading stages. You should have it just kind of stick to your finger just slightly. All right, we're at 55 minutes and it just stopped and is doing its uh, stir stop, stir stop cycle. You can see it's making a nice ball. And when I touch it, it's still feeling a little dry. However, notice when I pinch a little bit off, uh, it's giving that just slightly tacky feeling.
You can see how fluffy and beautiful that's becoming. And to poke it is not sticky, stays kind of puffy. Hopefully that's right where we're looking for. And it has a little bit room still to rise. All right, the cycle is done. And it's slightly pressing against the lid. Gonna slowly peel that back. Okay. And a lot of the difference in that will depend on what size your bread machine is. Now you can see how smooth and beautiful that looks. And then we're going to deflate it a little bit.